Hello and welcome to Colorist Flight School. This is the great along for the short film Mother Died in DaVinci Resolve 10 and Final Cut 10.1. And my name is Patrick Inhofer. I'm a professional colorist. I am also going to be your trainer for the next couple hours. And it's me and you, kid. I mean, we are going to be working on this film shot by shot from beginning all the way through final delivery. And for when I say the beginning, I mean the beginning. But before we get to that, let me give you a quick idea of what to expect here. All right. I'm going to be talking to you, externalizing what's going on in my brain as I'm color grading this film shot by shot, as if you were my assistant, as if I were training you to be me, or really to take over this seat, and to take my job, <laughs> if that's what you want to do, or if you're a DP who's just getting into color grading, an editor who wants to kind of add it as an extra thing that they offer their clients, an assistant who's looking to become really valuable to the colorist or to the editor, this training's for you, but I am, I'm imagining you as someone who wants my job, and I'm willing, to, I'm helping you out. I want you to work nights. I want you to lessen my load, and but I need you to understand color grading. We are going to be talking workflow. We are going to be talking craft. We're going to be talking image evaluation, not just reading scopes. There'll be tons of scope reading, but we're also going to be like, I look at an image and what am I looking at? What's the first thing I'm seeing? How am I evaluating it? How am I making my decision and my, de my decision process? And speaking of the decision process, one thing that's different from this than say, oh, downloading some random footage on a website and just tooling around with it, coming up with something really cool and saying, wow, isn't this great? What we're going to be doing is working to someone else's vision. This is a short film that was written and directed by the founder of Millennium Effects. Millennium Effects is a creature shop in London. Uh, they started working with, like, on Hellraiser 2. Uh, they did uh, a lot of the creature effects for that. The, the Doctor Who series on the BBC, the current one that's running now, they do the creature effects for that. Uh, so, I mean, and the, the founder is the director of this film, and we're working to his vision. He wrote this thing, he directed this thing, he has an intention for this thing, and it's our job as professionals to meet his creative goals. It's not just about us doing whatever the heck we feel like doing. You can do that. This is your footage, yours to do with as you please, Within boundaries, you can't uh, upload this to Vimeo in its entirety or to YouTube. Uh, you can't, uh, you know, go onto IMDb and put your credits up there as the colorist. Uh, but you can use it on your demo reels. You can use it in private client demos. And more importantly, you can use it to do whatever you want in terms of practicing and furthering uh, your familiarity with the craft of color grading. But for this training... I am going to be working to his vision, which means you're going to be working to his vision. And that's really important because clients will ask for the craziest things. They'll want the craziest stuff, stuff you couldn't even imagine. You think you can come up with every single different variation and permutation. I will tell you right now, you are dead wrong. I learned this on very early in my career. I've been in this business for 20 years, 23 years, and you know, the first two years I figured, yeah, I can just sit here and I'll just experiment. And there's nothing a client will ask me that I won't know. <laughs> well, I've spent the last 22 years trying to find answers to questions clients ask me that I don't know. Um, it's just the nature of the business. It, it's always moving. It's always growing. And that's why you're here. You're moving, you're growing, and we're going to do that together. So we're going to be working on this short film Mother Died. This is the hard drive shipped to me uh, by Ben Franklin, one of the co-founders of bloodycuts.co.uk. And uh, I told him that I wanted to go back, reach into the archives and color grade this short film and offer it as a grade along because I love this film. Um, it's a small film. It's a small story. It's a snippet in time. And it's got so many elements, mostly, and one of the really big reasons I wanted this for the grade along is because up until now, if you've taken the previous grade alongs, they've all occurred in exteriors, uh, under, you know, under sun, daylights, and forests. This is all interiors. This is beauty grading at its best. It was shot on red, on a red epic. It's R3D originals, although we've got a workflow here where if you don't want to download the 35 gigs of R3D originals, you don't have to, and you will get 95% of what this training's about, all right? But that's for later, we'll deal with that later, all right? But this is R3D, very high quality, very well shot, 
tons of beauty treatment in here. We're going to have a lot of fun making this girl look absolutely gorgeous. Then there's going to be this upstairs, downstairs thing. If you listen and you need to listen to the interview that I have with the director of Mother Died, you need to listen to this because... It's what I'm grading to. You're hearing the conversation. The conversation that I recorded over Skype is a conversation I have with filmmakers every single day when they bring me a job. That's what you're hearing. And so that's what I've recorded so that you and I are both color grading to the same thing. And this is important because one of the big things about the grade along is we're sharing the same footage. We're working on the same software. All you got to do is send me your project file, and I can see all of your work. I can judge it here on this beautiful FSI monitor, fully calibrated in spec, and I can take a look at it and offer you feedback, useful, constructive, actionable feedback. All right? I'll tell you the things you're doing right, and I'll tell you the things you can improve upon. All right? And that's really important because, frankly, it's a great along, not a watch along. And really, if all you plan on doing is watching, then you're missing the point of this training. It's to sit here and do. Color correction is about sitting here at these panels and you know doing stuff on these things. If you don't have a panel, it's about picking up your mouse or your pen and doing it. All right, You don't need the panel to do this stuff. You can get this all done with a mouse. I did that for the first five years as a colorist when I was color grading on, on an NLE in a three-way color corrector. It was, it was a mouse. All right? Absolutely, you can do it. Don't believe anyone who tells you you can't. All right? It's just it's quicker, easier, funner to use the control surface. As you'll see, it's one of the reasons why I'll be moving back and forth between the mouse and the control surface throughout this training so you get a sense of how it is to work uh, with these different tools. And what we're going to do is um, take this job from beginning, literally the very beginning. We're going to start with the hard drive that the client delivered to me because this is about 50% of my work now is delivered to me by hard drives remotely. I never meet the client. Um, I still haven't met Ben. And what do I do next? Do I leave it on the drives? Do I put it on my drive? Uh, this was shot. This was edited in Final Cut 10.0.3. Two, right? I can't even open it in 10.1.1. I have to go back to 10.09. We're going get to get to that in a minute. Um, how do I get the footage off of here and onto my, my drives? He's got 800 gigs of material on here. Do I copy all 800 gigs across, or is there a strategy I can use to media manage this stuff? Tip, media manage, right? By the time we're done, we're going to have 35 gigs worth of R3D files out of this 800 gig that's on this hard drive. So we're going to do some serious trimming, some serious media managing. Then we'll do some serious image evaluation. We'll go through. I'll give you some initial thoughts. We're going to grade. We'll do the primary balance. We'll work with looks. We're going to work with plugins. Uh, and then we're going to do final delivery. And, uh, you know, the truth is I haven't color graded this film yet. So you're going to get a pretty good look at, at what it's like when I color correct a film. And uh, so let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to hook up this drive and then... We're going to get going color grading Mother Died. Mother Died. 